All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Buzzard Collectors mod, which is being made by forum user Dunrana. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a series of different sized Boussard collectors that you can attach to your ship and allow them to refuel themselves simply by flying through space. And oh, I cannot tell you how much I love this mod, as frankly, I have always been fascinated by the idea that is the Boussard Collector. For any of you who don't know what that is, basically it's a giant freaking dish you shove onto the front of your spacecraft, and as you fly through space, it creates a basically an electromagnetic funnel which will capture all the naturally occurring hydrogen that you're traveling through and funnel it into your fuel tank to be used as fuel and it's a beautiful idea very important as a potential means of deep space travel and well we have our own kerbalized version of it now which is awesome so let's jump right on into the VAB and have a look at what all is added in by this mod so we'll grab a mark 1-2 command pod for size comparison's sake, and then head down to the utility tab where I do need to mention one thing before we get started, and that is that there is a prerequisite for this mod to work. You will also need to install DMagic Orbital Science. Now, on the Buzzard Collector's mod page, there is a link to DMagic Orbital Science, so it's very easy to get your hands on it. And once you have that installed, as well as the Buzzard Collector, you will be given three beautiful different sizes of Boussard Collectors. Now let's take a look at the first one here, the smallest, which is the miniature Boussard Collector, which is kind of laughable that it's miniature. Ha ah boy, this thing turns into a very, very large dish. Sadly, we can't really show it off here in the VAB, but I do have something prepped to show that off here in a moment. Uh, but for a launch, it's actually quite small and very well sized. Now, one thing you will notice when you actually grab the Part, it looks very different from how it inevitably becomes once you do attach it to the ship. And that's basically because you're seeing the difference between the protective shroud to protect it for an atmospheric launch and the actual dish that's folded up inside. Now, after you launch and get into space, you can jettison this shroud and then open up the dish in all of its beautiful glory. And, oh God, again, it becomes very, very big. Now, of course, we then have, besides the miniature, we have the compact Boussard Collector, which, as you can see, oh boy, is even bigger. Look at the difference between those two things right there. That is the miniature. That is the compact. And uh, then, finally, we get the standard Boussard Collector, which, oh, Jesus, is even bigger. Oh, nope, wrong way. There we are. Look at that. If we actually pop this onto the Mark 1-2, there we go, a giant protective shroud to keep this thing from falling apart in launch, which is pretty important. Now, as for the actual stats on these things, the miniature Boussard Collector will require a lot of electricity, because remember, these things produce an electromagnetic field to actually gather up the hydrogen, and so it will use two electric charge per second to produce 2.16 liquid fuel per day. So this is not exactly an end-all be-all to your uh, fuel needs, but it will certainly help you on especially deep space missions where you're not going to be burning constantly. You're going to burn for a bit, then shut it off, let it refuel, burn more, etc, etc. And so it's a good option for your much longer term missions. Now that's the miniature. On the compact version, it'll require 5 electric charge per second to produce 1.08 liquid fuel per hour. So quite a lot better than the, uh, what was it, 2.16 per day, but still, it's, it's not exactly the greatest. Now, the final standard version will use a five uh, electric charge per second again and produce 1.8 Per hour, So a bit more than the compact for the same amount of power, but at a much, 
much bigger sized. But hey, if you want nearly two liquid fuel per hour, it could certainly be worth it. So that is our three Boussard collectors that we have. So let's actually leave out of the VAB and first go over to the runway where I have built a demonstration piece to actually show the size of these freaking dishes. And oh God, they are big. They are very, very big. All right, so we got all three of them here. Let's uh, jettison their shrouds because that is unnecessary for us. All right, just eject those and eject those. And again, just the size difference between these things already. This thing's gigantic. That one's actually quite small. And let us deploy the dish. There we go, it is popping out and kaboom, beautiful. We have a glorious dish, which when activated, which we would have to right click and start collector, it would begin collecting hydrogen, uh, which actually it won't here. It doesn't work in atmosphere. It has to be in space to function. Uh, and in fact, it's very delicate. So if you tried to launch, say this ship right now, oh, this thing would break apart very, very quickly. Now again though, Size-wise, that's the miniature. Let's go to the compact and open. <laughs> oh, jeez, look at this. It's just, it's gigantic and it's gorgeous. And finally, the standard size. Oh boy, here it goes. Oh, I didn't, oh, no, actually we're good, we're good. They are vaguely clipping through one another, but we're okay. Nothing has exploded. I was a little bit worried about that. But yes, there we go, the size between the three different Boussard Collector dishes. You got the miniature, the compact, and then the standard. And that is just freaking gigantic and you gotta love it. So let's actually go to the tracking station where I've actually put one of these into space so you can get an idea of the sort of a, a ship you'd use it on. Now this again is perfect for like deep space probes where you have no plans whatsoever of ever landing on a planet to do some mining, but it would still be useful to be able to collect fuel so you know you don't have to carry as much with you for the long journey. So instead you just have a giant dish in front of you and bam, you're good to go, which I do believe this is already collecting. And uh, thanks to four solar panels, we have more than enough power to actually get this thing. Though, <laughs> oh, it is producing it very, very slowly. But over time, it would fill up our fuel tank here and provide us with the additional fuel we need to continue on our mission wherever that may be. And that... That is a wonderful thing, and I love the idea for this. And actually, it's something I might try using in one of my own personal playthroughs of the game with other star systems. Imagine sending a normal probe with just regular nuclear engines to another solar system using the Bussard collector to fuel it along the way. It could be a quite interesting challenge, though uh, <laughs> one which would probably end in tears with my luck. But yes, it's a very, very cool idea like I said, I've always been fascinated with the theory behind it, and now we have this ability to use it in the game. And it also does, of course, add in another method for you to create liquid fuel. You're not just, uh, you know, relegated to doing mining operations. You can now also have something in orbit around a planet or flying through space, collecting the fuel as you need, which is pretty awesome. But, uh, yeah, that is going to be it for this episode, folks. Not really much more to talk about on the Buzzard Collectors mod, where we have three wonderful new sizes of Boussard Collectors to enjoy. But uh, yeah, so I hope you have enjoyed this episode today. And of course, that you do come back for the next win. We'll hopefully be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one. Now I'm more or less in an uncontrollable spin at this point. Eh, oh well, I really don't need this ship any longer. Later, folks.